Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Amethyst George Mike. And interested to see if he shoots the ball well enough to be a really good pop at the center position. He's not super fast, and his three ball isn't super high, but I still think he's going to be a pretty good card, good on the interior, and hopefully with a good release, which it looks like he has, is going to be able to shoot the ball at a very high level, even without an elite an elite three ball rating. So uh, before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel. Less than 200 subscribers away. I'm up Putting tons of my team content every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado let's hop right into it let's take a look at this mike and card so he's six foot ten at center not insane size but good enough 93 offense 86 defense with a 77 driving layup 91 post fade and post hook 92 post control 83 midi 67 three balls a little low 75 standing and driving dunk uh 78 block 85 interior 93 offensive 94 defensive rebounding he is a really good rebounder 55 speed and excel he's slow no doubt 63 lateral quickness it would be interesting to see three hops he's got dream shake drop step and post touch pro touch i'm sorry golds are fearless finisher break starter pogo stick workhorse box up east rebound chaser oh sorry those are the just the upgradable ones uh has area wizard as well masher uh box up beast post fade phenom silver acrobat play post playmaker post lockdown bronze catch and shoot claymore and anchor so at least he does have anchor uh I, to a certain extent i don't think he's gonna defend quite enough uh with his defensive stats not being insane and him being kind of slow to really be elite because uh, offensively, I think he'll actually be fine. He's going to be good on the interior, and he's got Devin Booker base, John Collins upper, which is actually a really smooth release, and combine that with a 67 three ball, he's going to be able to green a very consistent amount from the three-point line. I'm not really too worried about him being able to hit open from the three-point line at a consistent level. It's the defense that I'm a little bit worried about, to be honest, because athletically he's fine. He's a little slow at 55 speed, but honestly, I don't know if that's that much of a lie. I mean, it is in certain matchups, but generally speaking, it's not as bad as a lot of the other slower centers. And his release is fine. He's just not a great defender. I mean, he's a okay defender. I don't know how I would honestly classify this George Mikan card right now because he's going to be fine. But I also struggle. Like, is he better than a Hakeem Olajuwon? I'm not sure. I don't think I'm taking him over. Definitely not Wilt, Shaq, Tim Duncan, um, and Anthony Davis or Chris Bosh. Even a Cliff Robinson or a pr probably Serge Ibaka. Like, is he close to Ibaka, though? I don't know. Where does this George Mikan card rank? Is he a borderline top five center? Or is he kind of more towards the back of the top ten? I'm not totally sure he's definitely a top 10 big in my team right now but where in that top 10 he ranks i'm not totally sure let's hop into a game see what george Mikan can do all right let's see what this Mikan card can do in my team to be honest haven't really used a card like this this is kind of what i was hoping that a guy like kevin love was going to be it was 50 or even a dirk 55 speed as he catches and shoots immediately and knocks it down he's just more versatile defensively than kevin love a little bit quicker uh and then a little bit bigger as well which is what i like i just think he's like a better kevin love i understand he's not the shooter that kevin love is but his release is so smooth we knocked down the first three ball of the game i feel totally confident catching and shooting with him from the three-point line very similar to a guy like sean kemp he's a very similar shooter to kemp kemp has a 68 three ball they both have smooth releases honestly mikens is probably even a bit better um i have no doubts that he's going to be a very very capable shooter and shot maker in my team um which means that the real question is the speed and the defense that's the question because offensively no we know he's good on the interior we know he's a great rebounder we know he's going to be able to shoot the three at a high level can he defend well enough and move fast enough especially on the defensive end to really be a truly great option at the uh center position with Hoff drop stepper, I don't think he should have any problem against a guard, and he just uh, easily drop steps down on Mitchell, gets himself a very easy dunk, and uh, oh, whoopsie daisy, I did not mean to be matched up on D Mitch there, but he missed the pull up. Let's go, pushing the ball in transition again. Let's go quick. Oh, he just got a rip somehow on that. I don't even know. I will say, speed wise, he's not crazy fast by any means, but I feel like he can stay. Kept, uh, caught up enough at least to stay in the play uh i mean he's actually going coast to coast right here on sean kemp drop stepping him uh oh my goodness he just just throwing sean kemp around this half drop stepper looking kind of nice right now just throws sean kemp out of the way and dunks on him and he has seven points and one rebound right now really solid start for george mike and i'm about to give up a three ball because i'm not paying attention he just tries to walk back and shoot over the top and by that point we're able to step back up and contest again gonna go pick and fade again drag him back sizing up same side burst hit our pop uh george mike attacking the rim hop step oh i meant to hop step he goes up with a layup but a really good 
layup animation. George Mikan is hooping right now. No doubt about it. Um, about as good as you could ask for to start off this game with 9-2 and two already. Wall it up on the interior again. Get back to Sean Camp. Guard up. And he is just taking terrible shots. Mikan with another board. Pushing the ball in transition again. Running the floor. Swing it over to KD. Let's go Mikan. Pick and roll. Pick and pop. Uh, job back to the right. Yes, sir. Good move. KD attacks the rim. Hits our pop. Mikan for three. Little early there. I felt it. I was definitely early. That's on me. My fault. Good dunk from Kemp in transition as well. He gets back on the board. Uh, that's a little bit my bad there. I, I had an opportunity and I didn't take advantage of it. Get in this post again. I just know that I can drop step him every single play. This time he's forced to help down. You know who is. I got to make him pay. I got to make him pay. I got to make him pay. That's just, it's unacceptable to get that, that good of a look with a shooter as good as Carmelo Anthony and not make the right play. It's just my bad. Uh, again, posting up though, he is feeling, I feel like he has to help so, oh, he is feeling like he really has to help right now. Great pass out to Kyrie. Kyrie, we know he's got elite shooting stats and badges. He has no problem greening that lightly. Knocks it down. George Mikan with his first assist. And that drop drops to her, man, is looking pretty cheesy right now. I'm not going to lie. He is kind of dogging some of these bigs out right now. Sean Kemp doesn't seem like he can really hold him too well. Nine, three, and one for George Mikan in three minutes of gameplay. He is holding up really, really well. And then defensively, not feeling like too much of a liability at all. I told y'all, playing that lane, George Mikan is just hooping right now. And I just tried to force a dunk with, oh, that was Kyrie Irving, actually, that I just accidentally threw the lob to. I was not trying to throw it to Kyrie Irving. I promise you that. Uh, but it's okay. We are only up by six right now. Let's get ourselves another bucket or two, and then I think we can call it a gameplay, though, because George Mikan is playing really, really well right now. Sizing up again, attacking, hitting our pop, 67 three ball. That's enough, and I just missed. No, 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 no. That is not acceptable. Have to be better, plain and simple. That is just not going to be good enough right now. Um, good defense. That's fine. Micah with his fourth board to go along with the nine points. Really, really solid performance by him. Between the legs here, burst, attack, Mike and slip. Easy dunk, please. Yes, beautiful standing dunk right there by George Mike and to get his 11th points of the game. Has defensive rim rebounding take whatever you want to call it rim slash lock slash rebounding take the whole defensive takeover they added this year is kind of op and it's a really good takeover for a big to have so the fact that he does have that is super nice to me so um let's go onto the screen let's get through the screen contest good defense and he hits a white 20 percent with Kyrie. that is frustrating it is what it is but that is very very frustrating because there's not much i can do about that it wasn't that i didn't play good defense there i just wasn't able to get the uh stop but drop stepping again and again george mike and just that hoff pro touch finishing that time on that layup and he is just dogging out sean kemp over and over again on the perimeter right now it is a really impressive performance in this game by george mike and walling up on the interior again jumping and he actually gets a really good look knocks that one down five point game 36 seconds left should be able to finish out strong here and of course he's going to intentionally foul again and you know what i'm not playing this foul game let's hop back to the main menu let's give you this george mike card george mike is a really good big man in my team he i was very positively impressed by this card i feel confident enough with him as a shooter and i think uh, he's really solid defensively i think uh, on the interior he's good enough and i feel like he's going to rebound the ball really really well the speed doesn't feel like a huge liability in transition it's going to be annoying but in the half court defensively i don't think it's going to be a huge problem nor offensively i think he's a viable option center position do i think he's the best center in the game no do i think he's top five probably not do i think he's top 10 100 percent probably top six or seven center in all of my team and a very very viable option so legitimately good card for sure not sure if i take over hakeem or not yet i don't know but i'd, I'd put him top six or seven for sure at center so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace